Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our webinar of today. The topic is Mobbus Data Concentrator. Today, you can learn about how Mobbus Data Concentrators work. I will show you our Mobbus Data Concentrators and their application and setup. Feel free to enter your question into our checkbox. ICB DAS was established in 1993. The headquarters is located in Xinchu, Taiwan. ICB DAS USA was launched in 2001 to support North and South American markets. We have over 200 R&D engineers and we work closely with them to add new features to our products, develop new products, and to support our customers. Most of our products are Rojas compliant, which means they are lab free. For serial communication, the conventional approach to read back Mopus data is reading from the meters or other Mopus devices one by one via RS-485, as you show on the picture. However, the speed will be really slow. Data transmission will become a bottleneck. Data connecting will be discontinuous, no matter how fast the performance of PC is. And the speed of the RS-485 itself is not fast enough, no matter how fast the computer performance is. The speed problem still cannot be solved. So let's talk about the solution. This is our TGW Mobus TCP to Mobus LTU gateway. We have similar products such as I7188, EX-MTCP, or TGW7. 15. They both are uh, the Mopus gateway. For this type of product, it is required to set up the bug way of the COM port on the gateway and the ID range of the Mopus RTU devices managed by each COM port. When performance communication on the PC, the IP address and Mopus ID of the gateway are specified. When the commands are sent from the Mopus TCP to the gateway, they will be bypassed to the Mopus RTU device on the corresponding COM port. So these settings of gateway is easy. However, it is required to send a command to each device one by one when users are actually performing the operation. Even though PC use Mobus TCP communication, a part of the communication still being transmitted via RS-232 or RS-485, and the speed will be slowed down because of that. So on the left side, the computer is communicating with the module through Mopus TCP and Ethernet communication. But on the right side, when the gateway communicates with Mopus RTU devices, they are using RS-485 or RS-232. The slow will be, at uh, the speed will be really slow. So this is the solution of uh, Mopus Data Concentrator. First of all, it will use a search or scan engine to read back all data of Mopus RTU device one by one and store the data in the internal memory of Mopus Data Concentrator device. 
After receiving the Modbus TCP commands sent from the PC, then the Modbus data concentrator will then directly send the store the data from its internal memory to the PC. Therefore, when the PC requires obtaining the data of the Modbus LTU device, it can communicate with the Modbus data concentrator through the Ethernet. The communication speed will be fast and all the data stored in MDC can be retrieved immediately at once. It is much more efficient than using a Modbus gateway. Next. As you see from the slide, the Modbus data of some Modbus LTE devices are not stored continuously. In conventional communication, computer will send multiple commands to read Modbus data. If it requires read or write data by several times, the efficiency will and communication speed will be very slow. The Modbus data concentrator will organize the data from multiple RS-485 devices to be stored continuously, no matter if it is continuous or not. By the way, by this way, the PC can read large amount of data at once and increase the efficiency of the communication speed. This is our Modbus Data Concentrator MDC 700 series that can use to access data from Modbus slave device with Modbus address table range by the concentrator. The Modbus TCP master can directly read or write data in the MDC 700 instead of pulling each slave device one by one. This way, not only making the data on the serial communication to multiple master, but also shorten the time to read or write data from multiple de slave devices. So we have MDC 711, 714, 741 that have different number of ports, our Super 2, our Sport and our Sport ports. The MDC 700 module can perform up to 240 Modbus LTU commands from Modbus Lazy device through hours 232 or hours 45, and up to eight Modbus TCP master are allowed to get the pool's data through the Ethernet. And the internal shared memory has four tables to store the AI, AO, DI, and DO data. Each table can store up to 9,600 registers. In addition, it has web-based user interface for the MDC 700 series. It is accessible from a variety of devices anywhere. User can configure the module and monitor connection status of each pooling definition through their smartphone, tablet, or desktop. User can also configure the concentrator and monitor the connection status through the regular web browser. They can also edit the pooling definition config.csv file 
and import export the CSV through a web browser interface. So this picture show you the config.csv file. The Mopus pooling definition is defined in this file. Editing or checking a lot of pooling definition is complicated and may have a large chance to make a mistake. So a CSV format file can reduce the work by using the Excel. After configuring the CSV file, user can import or export the config.csv through the web interface. This picture shows you how to import and export the config.csv file from the web interface. In the web interface, you can see each definition on the MDC 700 web page and the register mapping address. The results of each operation can also be found. If there is any communication error, you can quickly find out which Mopus RTU device is failed. The status of each device is showing good timeout or error depending on the status. As I say from the comparison table, we now have three different small bus data concentrator with different number of ports to choose from in order to match your application. Our 711 has one hour 232 port, one hour 485 port. 714 has one hour 232 port, four hours 485 port. And 741 has four hours 232 and one hours 45 ports. Depending on what application you have, you can choose from those Mopus data concentrated. If requires to connect to a, a lot of Mopus RT device, the software tool must be easy to view so that the results of the operation can be detected immediately. That's why we make this page of status of communication. And it will show the communication status between the MDC 700 module and Mopus slave devices. To summarize this webinar, Mopus Data Concentrator can speed up the time for reading from multiple Mopus LTU device and upgrade Mopus LTU device with Ethernet communication ability rather than using a Mopus TCP to Mopus LTU gateway. It has built-in web-based user interface. Configuration can be done using an Excel spreadsheet. It also supports up to 240 Mopus LTU commands from Mopus slave device through RS-232 or RS-485. And it also supports for up to eight Mopus TCP master.
we have just finished our webinar for today. Please feel free to ask any question you may have. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google Plus to get the most updates in industrial automation.